All right. Keith Cage's garage here. We're doing something different today. Uh, I want to show you my pool. This keeps happening. We don't have a cage, as you can see, over the pool. So things just like to... I don't know if they're growing. It's this is I, I'm pretty sure this is like pollen in here. I don't think I don't think it's algae. I can't tell. I don't know if it's algae. I think it's pollen, and it goes in here because I I could take this stuff and put it in a jar with chlorine, and it'll still be there. So it doesn't it doesn't die. Anyway, you can see in the middle it's got that big green thing. There is a lot of stuff. I cut the grass yesterday. A lot of stuff falls in here. Bugs like to come in here like crazy. Anyway, I don't know how I can actually put a cage around this thing. The house is there. I don't even know if it's possible. I mean, I guess we could do a door there. A door there. Go up to the house. I, I mean, I guess anything's possible, right? But I have no idea. Um, anyway, it's above ground pool. We sunk it in the ground. It's got this green stuff in there. I'm going to show you what I do to get this out i'm gonna pretty much vacuum all the stuff out i need to get those there's a pair of there's a mask in there i need to get that out of there and i think there's a toy let's see no. i don't even know if i can reach it this is a uh, 30 foot pool look at that else that'll all settle Hopefully it'll settle. Now I did a fire last night, so there might be some ashes in here too. We'll get all the stuff off the top in a minute. That'll be last, but I need to get all this stuff up. I'm going to show you what I do. Pretty much, I just evacuate the pool out to the out to the ground. And these things, let's see what this looks like. This is totally full. Okay, that's good. Not too much stuff in there. So, usually, I take this hose, throw in the pool, and turn it on. Because, basically, what I do is I come over to here, and I open this up right here. I take this and just let it flow out. And it just dumps... It's just a basically a hole in the pool, just letting it, letting all the water come out, and this gets all flooded. You can see all this green stuff. Last time I did it, I think if it was algae, it probably would not be here. The old um, this is diet diatomaceous earth. It just dumps out, which should be good to get rid of any ants in here. I think. Anyway. Is this thing? Is this thing even connected? Oh, that tree's falling over. I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna chop this all up today. It's a different story. Okay, so let me get this set up. Let me get the water going. Wait, should we just do this? All right, water's going. I gotta get my stuff out of here. Here's the hose. This goes in here. All this hose. This. And get the get the pole. Going. Yep, four So we get the air bubbles there out of this thing. Put this in. Okay, the line down. What I used to do was take the end of the hose and put it in the turn the filter on and, and fill it water. I don't do that anymore. Do like this, hold it up in the air, and feed it down in.
and then a hole. Go. And here. You also want to take out your flapper door. Take this, put it inside the skimmer. So there you go, all air is out of it. That's there. Once I turn the skimmer on, that will that will that'll fit. And you have to work pretty quick. I mean, the pool's really full. We had a lot of rain, so it filled up a lot. Uh, so I probably have a little bit more time. But what happens is the water will get out of the skimmer, and they'll just be starting to suck air. Um, so I want to get this done. Probably I probably have 15, maybe 20 minutes of having the filter just pumping out the water um, before the water level is too low. So like right now, the water level. Usually I judge the water level and where it is. I mean, I can see in the skimmer it's at the top, but where it is on this skimmer here. So we're like right below that screw, the top level. We'll see where we're at at the end. But uh, let me turn the, let me go turn the filter on. I got on a timer. So I'll turn that on. It goes on. I'm going to have to go down there and unplug it and let it go. And you'll see me starting to uh, suck all this up. Um, if I just took the filter right now and just sucked it up and let it go through the filter, It'll just clog up the filter in like two seconds. So that's why I just let it run all out. But it's going to make a lot of noise when I do that. So let me uh, just chill for a minute and uh, I'll get to, get to do that. Okay, so this, here we go. And then once I do this, I need to put new diet to Miss Earth in there. And I will show you that also. Alright, so there's a switch on this thing here. And I just... I just pulled all these weeds up like two weeks ago. And I'm just gonna bump this a couple times. Probably could use a new one of these, but I don't know. I'm not, not getting it anytime soon. Alright, let's drain it. And you'll see. Oh my gosh, come on. All the green shit coming out. So this is the diatomous earth with pollen and I don't whatever else. Now I turn it on. Now this is a two-speed pump. I'm gonna turn on full blast. And it just pushes all that crap out. Bump it a couple more times so it gets all the stuff off the filters. And it's just gonna flood here, whatever. But this is where now I'm on a time. Let's uh Make sure this is in the skimmer. Okay, we're in there. You can see the water coming out. I'm gonna set this up. Right here, I think you can still see that green spot. Let's vacuum it up. Let's go real slow. There's so much in there going over the uh here. Just, uh, there's a lot on the edges and stuff. I just really want to get that all cleaned up. The major of it.
Keep forgetting. Okay, at some point the battery died on the camera. And you can see all of the dietimus, dietimus earth, however you say it, the green stuff in it. Look at that. So that's going to stay here until it rains and gets washed away. Still have the hose in there. Let's show you the pool. I got the big area gone. I went around. There's still stuff in there. Can't get it all out. Um, It'll bunch up again in the middle once the filter starts going. And I'll vacuum it again probably next week. Uh, I just want to show you the water level. It's now. I should have done a timer, but I forgot. Um, but you can see where the water level is now. It was up here. We're down below this screw now. And I keep the basket in there. So if it sucks up any big stuff, like leaves or whatever, it will get stuck in the basket. So that's why I leave the basket in there. Just knock it out. Put the basket back in. Put this back in. That's getting really windy. I'm just gonna pull this out, put it back, put it away. Then I'm gonna show you what the diet is earth, and then I have some chlorine I'm gonna put in there. And then I'll check the uh, floaters. Next thing on the list, fix the, the ladder. Anyway, it's getting real windy. Let me go put this stuff away. And I just leave this thing attached. Take it, put it in here. And I read you're not supposed to roll these hoses up, but I don't really have a choice. If I leave this hose, I have plenty of room, I can just stretch it out. If I leave this hose out, it's going to deteriorate in what a month so that's why i don't leave it out i roll it up it is kind of a kind of gets screwed up when i try to take it out it's or put it in the pool it still wants to twist and everything but this is a hose lasts a lot longer all right i'm going to put it's during the rain 
I gotta put this away and hurry up because uh, the sky's about to open up maybe. Look at this. It's clear over there. Ah, it's just a passing storm. That'll be fine. Okay, so now there's no earth in there. So it's not going to do any filtering. So I just take... I already measured whatever this cup is I got here. And you, you don't want to breathe this stuff in. It's very like very fine powder. Um, I got to put dump three, the three, uh, four of these in there actually. Four of these in there for it to be the proper amount in the filter. So I'll just take dump it in right here. And you can see the water. All right, so that's about four. This, this way. Then I get the hose. Rinse all this junk out of the way. Rinse it off my hand. Rinse off my hand. Take a drink of water. It's nice and cold. Ah, right out of the hose. Like the old days. And then, I don't, I didn't test the pool, the chlorine level. I'm just gonna dump two things of pool shock in there. I haven't done it in a week. It's been really hot. What I do is I take one and just pour it right in the skimmer. Let that go into the filter. I'll take the other one. I'll take this other one and I'll just Sprinkle it along inside here. Sprinkle it along. <coughs> and then, a lot of times <coughs> it blows back in your face <coughs> and then makes you sneeze. <coughs> Man. Alright. Alright, I gotta put this stuff away. Let this thing fill up. I'll probably let this thing fill up for an hour and a half. All right, well, that's it. I'm gonna call it for a little while until the rain stops. Um, that's what I do, that's, uh, that's why I take care of the pool. That's what I do to vacuum it out when it's got too much stuff for the filter. So there you go. Ah. Pool's clean. Pouring rain. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye.